In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon Alexa on the Fitbit Versa 2. So to start from our clock face, we're going to swipe to the left to reveal our apps, and we're going to keep swiping if needed until we find Alexa. Then we'll tap on it, and it says set up Alexa, complete setup in Fitbit mobile app and sync device. So from our Fitbit app, make sure you're on the Today dashboard, Today tab, which is the dashboard. And go ahead and tap on your profile picture in the upper left hand corner. Then find Versa 2 and tap on that. And then find Amazon Alexa and tap on that. And here it says Versa 2 includes Alexa. Versa 2 is all you need to talk to Alexa. Swipe over to see how Alexa can help. Get friendly reminders. Set reminders, alarms, or start a timer simply with your voice. Alexa will let you know when the time is up. Master smart devices. Use your voice to control Alexa compatible speakers, lights, or thermostat. Requires connecting smart devices to the Amazon Alexa app. And stay up to date. Check for weather and get quick answers to almost any question. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap sign in with Amazon. And here it's asking us for an email and password. So you can enter your account info here, or you can tap if you need to create a new Amazon account. So I'll go ahead and enter my information. And once you have your email and password entered, go ahead and tap sign in. I'm gonna say not now. What's nearby? Share your current location with Alexa for smarter responses about what's nearby. So you can either tap use location to enable this or tap not now. I'm going to tap not now. Always grant location access. If you always allow access to your location, Alexa can use it to reply with nearby results. Update your location permissions to always in settings. So looks like they really want to push the location on you. So if you still don't want it, you can tap no thanks. Otherwise you could tap yes and for demonstration sake I'll go ahead and tap yes just to show you what this is going to take you to. So this actually takes you to the Fitbit app settings within your iPhone settings and you don't really have any instructions here but what you would do is you would go to location and then you could choose ask next time only while using the app or always. So if you really wanted to um, use location with Alexa, you can go ahead and tap always here and then you can enable or disable precise location. So maybe I'll go ahead and just keep it on always with in precise location. And then if you go back to the Fitbit app, you have to press this top black button. And it says that it is connected. So here are some things you can ask. Set a timer for 20 minutes, set an alarm for 6 a.m. Is it going to rain today? How much protein is in an egg? And start a run with Fitbit. And note down here it says that Alexa is set to English. You can change this, meaning the language, in Alexa settings of the Fitbit app. To learn more and access additional features, open the Amazon Alexa app. So you don't actually need the Amazon Alexa app to use Alexa, it seems like. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. And then it tells us how to wake Alexa. If you set the button to Alexa, press and hold the button until Alexa appears on the screen. So that's not really that helpful if you ask me. I'll just kind of tell you what they're talking about. So if you wake up your Versa 2, now we should be able to swipe to the left to reveal our apps and find Alexa in the list of apps. I'm actually going to show you how to move it closer to the clock face so you don't have to swipe as much. So if you're used to iOS, it's the same type of thing where you tap and hold and then drag. So I'm going to tap and hold and I'm going to drag it to the left till I get to the first page and then, oops, and then I'll probably put it here for now. So now if you go from your clock face, you only have to swipe once to access Alexa. So if I tap on it here, now we do have something. And I'll just show you one more thing. If you tap on settings and you scroll all the way down to left button, this is actually what the 
phone is talking about here. So it says set a shortcut for quick access. So if you tap on this, it says select shortcut. Press and hold left button to activate one of these things. Right now mine is set to quick saving settings. I can choose Alexa here by tapping on it. Then I need to scroll down and tap save. Mm -hmm. And now I can press the button to go back. And I'll press back again to go to my clock face. And now if I press and hold the button, it should activate Alexa. And there we go. So start a hike with Fitbit. And there we go. So it's actually starting a hike here with Alexa. And on the screen it says allow Fitbit to use your location. Your device requires location data for apps and exercise tracking. I'll go ahead and say allow while using app. And I'm going to go ahead and close this and see if there's anything else. And nope, that looks like it. If we tap on Amazon Alexa again, we just kind of get the um, things that we can ask. And you can also log out of Alexa. And if you want to change your language, you can tap here. And these are the available languages currently. So let's see if I can pause this exercise. I wonder if I can do it with Alexa. Stop hike. Okay, so it doesn't do that. Um, it might be able to do something else, but we'll see. So if I go back, I'll go ahead and pause that and finish and end. And I'm done. So let's see what else we can do. Set a timer for five minutes. And there we go, we get a five minute timer starting now. And it doesn't really give us any feedback here, but if you wanna access the timers or alarms you have set, you can tap on this little, uh, I guess, watch or clock icon. And it has alarms, we have reminders, and timers and there we go it shows that we do have a four minute 33 second left timer to go and i believe yeah if you want to remove a timer or create another one you have to tap to ask alexa to do that and i'll just show you real quick these timers you set with alexa can only be found within alexa if you go to the fitbit timer app there are no timers within there so that is one thing you might need to remember. So I'll show you if you want to cancel your timer, you have to actually do that within Alexa. Probably don't have to actually go to this page. So I'll show you. I'll show you from here. Cancel last timer. And there it goes, so this five minute timer is canceled. And if I tap here again and then tap on timer, no timer set. So that is how you set up and a few ways to use Alexa on the Fitbit Versa 2. I might do another video showing you more things you can do, more commands with Amazon Alexa. So if that's available, I'll put that on the screen here or link it in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.